In this video guys, we're going to be going from noob to pro using the new Getsuga bloodline. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. As you can see right now, we're in Shindo life and the first thing we need to do is of course get the bloodline. And how we get it is by killing the new Kurama boss over and over again until he drops it. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I've got it. So yeah guys, after a little bit of grinding, killing the boss multiple multiple times, we finally finally got it. And if we go on bloodline right now, you can see it's already equipped, we have it level 0. So yeah, don't let this fool you, it's level 0 because we can't even equip the bloodline, which is level 50. And yeah, the first thing of course that we need to do is reset our levels. So we're going to go to the Hokage office and rank up so our level is 0. Alright, let me just go here. Do you wish to rank up? Yeah, of course. Alright, and we have a ranked up, now we're level 1. And we are B3, which is amazing. And the first thing we need to do is we're going to check every single move. Okay, the first move, Kostal Hand of Getsuga, that's level 200. Then we get another move, the level 400, and then another move at level 700. And the best thing about it, the bloodline, we unlock it very, very early on. So yeah, the first thing that we're going to do is grind our logs until we get to level 200. Therefore, we can unlock and showcase the first move. And then we can also unlock the bloodline, which would be very, very good. Uh, let me just put on my stats in before I forget. I'm going to put in, I think I'm going to put in 1,500 into this and then 750 into both of these. Just in case the moves require a lot of chi and nin. So I'm just going to pull out this and then any remaining points, I'm just going to put them into Thai. Yeah, I'm going to be grinding the logs until we get the mode and the first move. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, after a little bit of grinding, we have finally reached level 200 with our bloodline. So we can lock the first move and unlock the mode. I'm super, super Super curious to see how the mode looks like. This is my first time. So I'm just going to press C. Hold on C. Oh, that is a nice transition. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is Baron mode. I just realized. When C2, okay. Is there a C2? Is this the, like the, the one and only mode? Oh, this is the only... I think it's, it's only got one mode. I think it only has one mode. Yeah, this is like the only mode. And it's the Baron mode. It looks pretty, pretty good. All right, first, let's try out the E spec. Okay, so that's Singan. Oh wow, that looks clean, and it does, and then it holds them with, like this arm, and then you can like run around them. That looks clean, and the arm repeatedly does damage. Okay, let me check the C spec. Oh, when we block, it's like Kurama too, which is perfect. That looks so so cool. Oh, we can't see the full version of Kurama, but that looks amazing. Wow, yeah, you can tell that looks amazing. Okay, and if we press the Q spec, the Q spec. Oh, I think I know what the Q spec is. Yeah, the Q spec is basically when you press Q, you get into like this PVP mode, and look how far MD is going. It's dropping by so fast. However, you can like spam these rats and shurikens, which is perfect. And then the C spec. If I just press, if I just press C like this, okay. The C spec. Okay, C spec is just a massive, a massive beast bomb, which is amazing. Yeah, I really, really like this mode. You can tell this mode is gonna be absolutely overpowered. All right, next we need the second move that we need to unlock is core style rasengan. It's, it's a rasengan basically, and then level 700 so yeah so yeah i'm gonna be doing a little bit more grinding on the logs and once we reach level 400 we're gonna unlock this move and then i'm gonna test it out on some green score missions just to check how good the mode is so far so yeah i'll see you guys then all right guys now we've reached level 400 with our bloodline which means we can unlock the next move core style rasensuga rasensuga yeah that's how you say it and we're gonna unlock oh we need 1600 chi oh luckily we do have so much points so i'm gonna put 600 to my chi 600 into my thingy my nin then i'm gonna put 600 into my health and then i'm gonna put a bit more into my nin and then a little bit into my chi there we go just like so and now we can finally unlock it when we put it in our g move the best thing about these moves is you can actually put them in fgh or a vbn which is perfect so all right i'm gonna go into the mode first look at look at that transition that looks amazing okay and then now we're gonna use the G move. Oh, it's like a oh that Rasengan looked pretty pretty cool. Oh, that was a nice Rasengan. It was like a Rasengan that had like a red particles coming out of it. And now, as promised, we're gonna be doing some green score missions just to check out the bloodline itself. All right, okay, we need to go and defeat some rogue haze assassins. All right, okay, we're right next to the assassins, and the first move I'm gonna be doing is my C spec. Imagine this kills them first time. That would be amazing. I don't think. Oh, it actually killed one of them. Okay, and then my Q spec. And then, oh, that's like the PvP mode. And look at that. Bang, bang, bang. That has, if you look at that, that looks so, so amazing. You know, we're going to get rid of our key spec. And, and, oh, they're already dead. I didn't even know. Oh, my God. They're already dead. All right, let's do one more green scroll mission. So, we just need to find a green scroll mission. We can see one right there. 
All right, we found the three Taijutsu Masters. And the first move we're going to be doing is the F move. Look at that. It brings them all closer. And it brings them closer and it kills them that fast. Wow, that move is amazing. The first move. Oh, I don't even have time to check out this G move. Oh, the G move is actually very, very good for traveling too. Yeah, so far this bloodline is actually an amazing, amazing bloodline. I would definitely recommend trying to get it. It's an absolutely amazing bloodline. You also, also get a mode with it, which is super, super good. But yeah, when's the last move? I think the last move we unlock at level 700. So yeah, guys, I'm going to be doing a little bit more grinding and unlocking the last move, which is level 700. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a little bit of green scroll missions and I'll see you guys when my bloodline is level 700. Alright guys, after doing overnight grinding on the logs, we've reached level 700 with our bloodline, or should I say level 900, and we can unlock this move here. Okay, we're going to unlock it, and we're going to put it in our H move, and I'm super, super excited to check it out and just see if it's going to be a good move or not. Alright, okay, I'm super, super excited, so I'm just going to press H. Oh, okay, it's kind of like the move from the Tailed Beast form, it's like a spam of the barrage super super cool wait what's its name um get suga shuriken blitz oh okay okay so it's kind of like a barrage of lots of lots of rasin shurikens and yeah i'm gonna be doing a few more green scroll missions just checking out the moves all of them let me just transform into my form that the transformation just looks so 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 amazing uh let me just find those guys. all right guys are right right here we're just going to press our should we use our e-move we'll use our e-move here look at that oh what an amazing Amazing move that was super super cool. All right now we'll use our new found H move, a barrage of Rasengans. Ooh, that looks absolutely amazing. Okay, there's one person left. You know what? We might as well use our F move. Grab him close to us, and look at that. And I'm pretty sure we can actually hit him whilst he's grabbed, which is pretty pretty cool. And I'm so I'm surprised this guy's still alive. You know what? We'll use our G move just to, to finish him off. That should finish him up. Yes, sir. Yeah, this this mode itself is super super cool, especially it being from like a drop from a gen 3 spirit boss it's super super very very good mode it's probably like one of the best bloodlines from the gen 3 spirits It's super 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 cool you know what we might as well do one more green scroll mission let me just get this green scroll here and then after that we'll showcase the bloodline all of it and then we'll end the video off so let me just go to these guys and the g move is actually pretty pretty good too on for like traveling it travels you actually a pretty good distance and that actually hit them at the same time which is amazing okay look at that oh look at that grabbing them all at the same time wow that move is so overpowered and they're all dead yeah this this bloodline is an absolutely amazing amazing bloodline all right before we end up the video let's actually just showcase every single one of the moves all right the first move we have is the f move and as we've seen this is probably my favorite move out of the three moves that we can unlock it's super super cool and i feel like in pvp it would be absolutely amazing okay the g, g move the g move is super super good too you can actually travel around with it and stuff which is super super helpful i really really like the g move and then the h move just a spam of Rasin barrages and it does a good amount of damage too. I really really like this move too. Though. All these moves are super super good. Alright, now we're gonna check our C spec move. C spec move is just a massive beast bomb. It's super super cool and it just does the job. It does the job. It's really really nice. Okay, the E move. E move is just two Rasin guns and then you get this combo. It's a pretty cool move. And then the Q move. The Q move is basically just puts you in a PvP mode and then you can just start spamming start spamming the barrages and it is very very good however look how fast our md is going our md is going down super 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 quick however it is very very cool just everything from the mode just looks absolutely amazing yeah guys that has been the video of me going from noob to pro using the new getsuga bloodline a huge thanks to my friend demon for helping me get this bloodline because it took me super super long to get it and then him helping me out made it a lot faster but yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and also comment down below what is your opinions on this bloodline if you like it if you don't like it in my opinion it's very very good bloodline especially it has a mode it's a super super cool bloodline hope you have a wonderful one for the rest of your day guys and peace out guys peace out